If black people today were raised by a father and a mother who love what's right with all their heart, soul, and might, and they set good examples for their children, taught them how to work, how to be responsible, how to treat others the way they would like to be treated, would most black people be in the condition they're in today? If people, if people... But how about, the, how about the blacks? If, well, let me say this. If our community had both parents in the house and both parents were fighting for the betterment of their children, yes, our community would be better. That's what we if need. The white, if the white community had both parents in the house, because see what happens, Jesse, is when we get brothers like you, people would think that we are the problem. You are. Black people are their well, own problem. What happens is with the welfare system, it's far more white people on welfare than it is black. Far more. But why so they're not complaining people, like the blacks? Huh? Why you don't hear the whites who are on welfare complaining and blaming someone else like the blacks do? Well, then I need you to go into the welfare offices, Jesse. I need you to take a trip to the welfare office. See, I did because I wanted to see it for myself. I wanted to see it. And when you see our white brothers and sisters in there, not that I'm judging, not that I'm judging. You need to go take a trip. So maybe you'll stop thinking as they brainwashed you into believing, oh, it's just the blacks complaining. No, wrong is wrong and right is right, regardless of the color. And right now, when you start speaking like some white people that speak of, oh, the blacks, the blacks, the blacks, the blacks. What that says is I'm so disconnected from y'all that, yeah, it is y'all problem. It is. Let me show y'all how I can help y'all. Let me show you how I can fix y'all. You're not the savior, Jesse. But Monique, every adult, is, is, you do that agree way. that every re adult is responsible for themselves. And when they complain all the time and blame others, that's a sign of weakness, right? Well, oh, come on. Let's talk about it. When they blame others, that's a sign of weakness. So the man that is your great white hope, every time we see that ass on TV, he complaining about something. So now I want you to chew on your words, Jesse Lee. But he's not complaining about evil. Now stop it. Now I want you to stop it. I want he's that man pointing it out. Him. He's pointing it out, not so, complaining. So, so because we, he's a winner. So we're not pointing it out. We're complaining. Yeah, and burning down and destroying. And Let me say this to you. Destroying statues and flags as though that's going to make their life as better and not. Have, as they should have. How do we salute people that owned us, Jesse Lee? How do we walk our children down the street and say, look at this great white hope, as you would refer to them, and tell our children you should respect and honor because they own people that look like us. Maybe not you, maybe not your mom and dad, maybe not their mom and dad, but I can damn sure bet you somewhere down the line, the people that you want to honor and they're your great white hope, they own people that look like you, Jesse Lee. So again, again, when we have brothers such as yourself and sisters that speak about all that we're doing, and it's just us, it's just the black problem, the blacks, the blacks, the blacks, as if you're not, that's the problem. Monique, answer this for me, and then we got to run. I, I'm way over time. Um, black people, not all, not all, not all, not all, not all, not all, but most. <laughs> <laughs> black pe nobody in the world like black people now. They have made it worse for them. No race like them or anybody. They're afraid of them. They try to avoid them. They s skirt around. Why do you think that is, Jesse? Well, because they have been acting a fool over the last year. So burning and destroying and killing and robbing, blaming. Now they have more enemies than they have. Than they they have more enemies today than they had before because because to. nobody liked them know the history and we don't give a damn not being like let me be clear why not you don't have to like me but you have to respect me but you've tried to do it by force and you can't force anyone to love you fanny lou hamer who 